10 Anti-Inflammatory Foods That Heal Your Pain Quickly Inflammation. You may hear that word and think of inflamed muscles or sprained ankles. Maybe you think of an anti-inflammatory capsule you always have on hand in your medicine cabinet. Or maybe you think of arthritis and problems you don't yet have. But inflammation can happen to anyone. Inflammation is not infection. In fact, inflammation is a good thing your body does in an attempt to protect itself. When something irritating or even dangerous affects a part of your body, there is a biological response to fight it. This is done through inflammation. That swelling you've seen when you blow out your ankle or a knee may look scary, and sometimes really, really bad. But it's actually the result of your body releasing white blood cells into your blood and other affected tissues. The sudden release of cells increases blood flow to the damaged area, thus causing some redness and warmth. While it may seem counterintuitive, Inflammation can be a bit painful. Everyone experiences it differently. So for some it's more of a discomfort. While others undergo stiffness and pulsating. Pinching sensations. Inflammation causes this pain because the swelling can push against nerve endings telling your brain something hurts. In a bizarre fact. We're pretty much in pain all day long, as far as our nerve endings are concerned. But our brain chooses to ignore those signals. However. Inflammation is a unique pain that differs from what we feel 24-7. Therefore, we are more sensitive toward it. Inflammation not only occurs when we do something like twist an ankle or wrist or land wrong on a knee or elbow. It can also occur if we are unhealthy. In a recent study, researchers found that overweight men are at greater risk of inflammation than men of the same age who are more fit. This was largely due to unfit men having a higher white blood cell count than healthier men. For women. Inflammation drops when they lose weight. A different study found that obese women who lost more than 5% of their body weight had lower levels of inflammation markers. While inflammation can help a body heal, it has a time and place. That means if we are unhealthy and causing our bodies to become inflamed regularly, we can be at risk for several types of cancer and even heart disease. Perhaps most shocking, if inflammation is occurring so often that it becomes a part of your everyday life. It can lead to hyperactive healing that can damage tissues and even result in chronic inflammation. If inflammation becomes a chronic issue, your immune system begins to go into overdrive. Once this happens, inflammation can kill bad cells all the time. Sure, but it can also begin to kill off the good, healthy cells. When this happens, inflammation can become a killer. In fact, medical experts trace it to 90% of all serious illnesses as well as autoimmune disorders and arthritis. Diverticulitis and cystitis, while it can seem overwhelming to try to get all the vitamins, minerals, vegetables and water servings into our hectic daily lives, some of the things we snack on out of habit can actually be leading to inflammation and ultimately diseases. Here are some things to avoid to protect yourself from unhealthy inflammation levels. Here's the thing. Humans don't need milk. Nature made milk for calves. Are you a baby cow? No. Calves need milk in order to gain weight quickly. Last I checked, most of us aren't trying to gain weight. And even if we are, that milk we buy in stores usually doesn't come straight from the udder. Bone strength doesn't come from milk or any other dairy product. In fact, we get that bone strength from plants. Dairy is highly inflammatory for most people. And drinking more processed milk, skim, actually makes the inflammation even worse. Still not convinced. In 1994. A study showed that consuming dairy products, even at a young age, was associated with an increased risk of hip fracture later in life. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but French fries are just plain bad for you. Well really, all fried foods are bad for you. While we all know they have a bad habit of making us gain weight despite how incredibly yummy they can be. If we cut out fried foods, we cut out inflammation. One study found that feeding people a bag of potato chips, fried food, every day for a month highly increased inflammation and even their risk of cancer. Okay. So clearly if we follow a diet full of anti-inflammatory foods, we're probably going to lose weight. But why can't donuts just be good for me? Donuts are on the list of no-nos because they contain refined flour and way more sugar than our body ever asked for. Oh. And while you're at it, stop eating cookies, cakes and basically all sweet. Delicious things. Ah. Uh. One 2004 study showed people who ate too many refined carbs, like donuts, not only increased their risk of inflammation, but they were also at an increased risk of obesity and even diabetes. Put down the maple bacon glazed donuts. 
Bacon is also horrible for you, for a few reasons. But let's focus on inflammation. Saturated fat, when heavily processed, contributes to inflammation. This goes for hot dogs and bologna. 2. Along with increased inflammation, a study conducted by Columbia University found direct correlation between eating processed and cured meat such as bacon and developing chronic pulmonary disease. A glass of wine a day has been shown to be beneficial. But too much of a good thing can lead to chronic inflammation. The process of breaking down alcohol creates toxic by-products in our bodies which can damage liver cells. Promote inflammation and weaken our immune system. The term, drink responsibly, has never felt so appropriate. Studies have shown that drinking to the point of drunkenness can cause your body to have trouble producing cytokines, the things that ward off infections by causing healthy inflammation. Without these, your body develops a reduced ability to fight off infections. While it may seem easy enough to grab a bottle of anti-inflammatory capsules, there are plenty of foods which offer anti-inflammatory benefits naturally. Tomatoes are a nightshade vegetable rich in lycopene which helps reduce inflammation in the lungs and body. Cooked tomatoes are even better for you. So tomato sauce can count as a healthy addition to your diet. A 2013 Iranian study found that tomato juice was beneficial for reducing systematic inflammation. So drink up. But not too much. A serving of tomatoes is one cup chopped or sliced. This salad is filled to the brim with healthy. Anti-inflammatory goodness. And it only takes 10 minutes to make. Enjoy. Various studies have shown that these spices hold anti-inflammatory properties. Add a pinch of either, about 500 milligrams, to your daily smoothie for part of a healthy diet. Turmeric helps the body to turn off nf cappy b A compound that triggers inflammation. Ginger can cut inflammation in the gut when taken as a supplement. Kale is rich in anti-inflammatory goodness. As well as anti-cancer nutrients. It also works as an anti-inflammatory. Snack on one cup of chopped kale for a healthy. Anti-inflammatory break. Research has shown that kale contains nearly 50 different types of flavonoids which boast anti-inflammatory effects. Studies have proven celery is great because it contains antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Celery seeds also have impressive health benefits including lowering inflammation and fighting infection. Celery also has vitamins K, A, C and potassium. Just one and a half stocks provide all the goodness you need in a day. Studies have shown consuming more blueberries slowed cognitive decline and actually improved memory and motor function. Blueberries are full of antioxidants which protect the body and reduce inflammation. Eating well doesn't have to be boring. This two ingredient, ice cream, is so good for you. But it tastes so sweet. Salmon has fatty acids that are quintessential to a healthy lifestyle. They also boast omega-3 fatty acids which reduce inflammation. Salmon is basically a health powerhouse. As it also contains vitamins B12, D, B3, B6, selenium, protein and phosphorus. Enjoy 2 to 3 ounces for all the health benefits. Wow. 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 This recipe has so many health benefits. This is a delicious dinner you don't have to feel guilty about. Coconut oil is basically a miracle in a jar. You can put this stuff on your body. In your hair and of course in your system. The lipids found in coconut oil are filled with anti-inflammatory properties. In fact, a study in India showed the high levels of antioxidants in coconut oil were more effective at healing arthritis and other inflammatory problems than leading medicines. While coconut oil is super good for you, it's pure fat, so only enjoy about a teaspoon a day. These little guys may not look like much, but they are filled with beneficial antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties. They are also full of omega-3s, about 113% of your daily value. And manganese. Munch on one quarter cup, about one ounce, of walnuts at a time. These brownies substitute all that bad for you refined sugar and flour with dates and cacao powder. Gluten-free. Vegan. Paleo and delicious. Beets. You either love them or you hate them. But beets are the color they are because of the antioxidant betalane. This antioxidant is known to be a fantastic anti-inflammatory. They also have folate. Manganese. Potassium and magnesium. Enjoy one cup at a time. This is a bowl full of health. And you'll actually look forward to eating it. The sweet carrots and apples balance out the earthy beets. Bok choy has vitamin K. And C. Plus. Studies have shown there are over 70 antioxidant types in this green veggie. A serving size of one cup only has about 20 calories. 2. Yep. This recipe has ginger and bok choy. Talk about a healthy dish. 
though it does call for soy sauce. Opt for a low sodium option to avoid inflammation from the salt. So now that you know some foods to avoid, as well as foods to integrate into your diet, try to pay attention to the changes in your body. You'll notice less inflammation, but you may even notice better. More steady energy. A happier gut and even weight loss. Have any more anti-inflammatory foods you swear by? We'd love to hear about them. Medical news today, inflammation, causes. Symptoms and treatment WebMD, what is inflammation? Honey colony, symptoms of inflammation, can it kill? Women's health, six foods that cause inflammation save our bones, debunking the milk myth, why milk is bad for you and your bones prevention, 10 foods that make inflammation worse nutrition facts, why deep fried foods may cause cancer WebMD, the truth about white foods Huffington Post, 9 unfortunate truths about juicy. Scrumptious bacon eat this. Not that, 14 inflammatory foods making you fat National Institutes of Health, Beyond Hangovers Health, 14 foods that fight inflammation eating well, what is a serving of vegetables? The Washington Post, eat your kale. Julie McCormick, Julie McCormick is a writer and co-owner of the Cleveland Leader, a Technorati top 1000 site. Read full profile. Have you ever noticed that some people are able to effortlessly remember even the most mundane details and quickly comprehend new things? Well, you can too. Learning how to improve memory isn't as difficult as you might think. To unlock the full potential of your brain, you need to keep it active and acute. Wasting time on your couch watching mindless television shows or scrolling through social media is not going to help. Besides getting out flashcards, what can you do to help remember things better and learn new things more quickly? Check out these 10 effective strategies on how to improve memory. Physical activities don't just exercise the body, but it also helps to exercise your brain. Obesity and the myriad of diseases that eventually set in as a result of being overweight can cause serious harm to the brain. So when learning how to improve memory, exercise is king. Furthermore, without regular exercise, plaque starts to build up in your arteries, and your blood vessels begin to lose the ability to regulate blood flow. Plaque buildup reduces the amount of oxygen and nutrients that your blood carries to your brain. When the nutrients don't make it there, the brain's ability to function is compromised. One study in particular found that exercising four hours after learning significantly improved memory retention. The researchers suggested that appropriately timed physical exercise can improve long-term memory and highlight the potential of exercise as an intervention in educational and clinical settings. To improve your memory, make sure you get moving every day. Even if it's just a brisk walk, it'll help you maintain and increase your mental acuity. Brisk walking, swimming, and dancing are all excellent activities. If you have trouble finding time to fit in a workout, check out this article, 5 Ways to Find Time for Exercise. Any risk factors that cause you major stress, like anger or anxiety, will, in time, begin to eat away the parts of your brain that are responsible for memory. Amongst the most brain-damaging stressors is depression, which is actually often misdiagnosed as a memory problem since one of its primary symptoms is the inability to concentrate. One study assessed memory in 3,999 veterans and found that depressive symptoms, without anxiety, had an adverse effect on immediate recall of new information and the total amount, but not rate, of acquisition. If you can't concentrate, then you might feel like you are constantly forgetting things. Depression increases the levels of cortisol in your bloodstream, which elevates the cortisol levels in the brain. Doctors have found that increased cortisol diminishes certain areas of the brain especially the hippocampus, which is where short-term memories are stored. Prolonged depression can thus destroy your brain's ability to remember anything new. Seek professional help to combat your depression and any stressors causing it, your brain will thank you. Getting a consistent 7-8 to eight hours of sleep each night will help you in your task of learning how to improve memory. During sleep, the brain firms up memories of recently acquired information, especially during REM sleep. Getting enough sleep will help you get through the full spectrum of nocturnal cycles that are essential to optimal brain and body functioning during the waking hours. On the contrary, sleep deprivation can put a huge dent in your ability to form memories. Another helpful strategy is to take a nap during the day, especially after learning something new. This can also help you to retain those memories, as well as recharge your brain and keep it sharper longer. However, the length of your nap is also very important. Scientists in one study, found that people who napped for 30 to 90 minutes experienced better word recall. 50 to 60% of the brain's overall weight is pure fat. 
which is used to insulate its billions of nerve cells. The better insulated a cell is, the faster it can send messages, and the quicker you can think. This is precisely why parents are advised to feed their young children whole milk and to restrict dieting. Their brains need fat to grow and work properly. Skimping on fats can be devastating, even to the adult brain. Thus, eating foods that contain a healthy mix of fats is vital for long-term memory. Some excellent food choices include fish, especially anchovies, mackerel, and wild salmon, and dark, leafy green vegetables. Deep-fried foods obviously contain fat, but their lack of nutritional value is not going to help your brain or your body. So think healthy foods and fats first. According to Larry McCleary, M.D., author of the Brain Trust Program, an egg is the ideal breakfast. Eggs contain B vitamins, which help nerve cells burn glucose, antioxidants that protect neurons against damage, and omega-3 fatty acids that keep nerve cells firing at optimal speed. If you want to learn how to improve memory, breakfast is incredibly important. Other foods to add to your breakfast include fruits, veggies, and lean proteins. Avoid trans fats and high fructose corn syrup. Trans fats diminish the brain cell's ability to communicate with each other. And one study found that HFCS can actually damage the brain by promoting brain insulin resistance. Having a healthy breakfast in the morning has been shown to improve performance throughout the day. Don't skimp on this important meal. Nowadays, it's fairly uncommon to write down notes with a pen and paper. When we go to class or meetings, we take our laptops and use that to mark down important ideas. However, recent research has suggested that maybe doing this more harm than good. One 2014 study found that even when laptops are used solely to take notes, they may still be impairing learning because their use results in shallower processing. You can start a journal, write yourself emails, or even start keeping a blog. All of these activities will help to improve your capacity to remember and memorize information. Most importantly, if you're going to class or to a big meeting, consider taking notes by hand instead of on your computer. Research shows that certain types of music are very helpful in recalling memories. Information that is learned while listening to a particular song or collection can often be recalled by thinking of the song or playing it mentally. Songs and music can serve as cues for pulling up particular memories. If you're looking into learning how to improve memory, this can be a great thing to try. Listening to music has been shown to specifically benefit the memorization of words. One study found that young adults who listen to music while memorizing a list of words, as opposed to listening to environmental sounds or silence, performed better when asked to recall the words. Next time you have to memorize a speech of want to compete in a spelling bee, try listening to music while studying. You may be surprised by how much it helps. Pay attention to photographers. Charts and other graphics that might appear in your textbook, or if you're not studying a book. Try to pull up a mental image of what it is you are trying to remember. It might also help to draw your own charts or figures. Or utilize colors and highlighters to group related ideas in your notes. Another strong visualization technique for memory is the memory palace. This essentially involves imagining a place you know well, your house or a former school. For example, listing distinctive features of the place in your mind and begin to associate those features with things you want to remember. Then, when you need to recall information, you simply go the specific room or object where you stored the information in your mind, and it will come to you. For more information on how to build a memory palace, check out this article, How to Build a Memory Palace to Remember More of Everything. Reading material out loud has been shown to significantly improve memory of the material. Expanding further upon this idea is the fact that psychologists and educators have found that by having students teach new concepts to others, it helps to enhance understanding and recall. One study pointed out that this increased memory specifically because it forced students to recall the information in order to teach it. Teach new concepts and information to a friend or study partner, and you'll find you remember the information a lot better. Studies have shown that doing crossword puzzles, reading, or playing cards on a daily basis helps to delay memory loss, especially in those who experience cognitive decline in the form of dementia. So, pick up the daily newspaper and work on that crossword puzzle. Read a book, or enjoy a game of solitaire if you want to boost your memory. Everyone has the ability to learn how to improve memory and boost their brain power. And everyone will find that different strategies work for them. Try out some of the above in order to get a feel for what works for you.
Current biology, physical exercise performed 4 hours after learning improves memory retention and increases hippocampal pattern similarity during retrieval archives of clinical neuropsychology, the effects of depression and anxiety on memory performance sleep medicine, memory. Sleep and dreaming, experiencing consolidation Johns Hopkins Medicine, can a nap boost brain health. Current neuropharmacology, impact of dietary fats on brain functions nutrients, dietary omega-3 fatty acid deficiency and high fructose intake in the development of metabolic syndrome. Brain metabolic abnormalities. And non-alcoholic fatty liver disease psychological science, the pen is mightier than the keyboard, advantages of longhand over laptop note taking music I scientii, the positive effect of music on source memory applied cognitive psychology, the learning benefits of teaching, a retrieval practice hypothesis J in neurocycle SOC, association of crossword puzzle participation with memory decline in persons who develop dementia. Text source, lifehack.org.